Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to episode 58 of Europa Universalis 4 as France. In the last video, I noticed something that I hadn't been keeping an eye on, and that was the liberty desire of my um, subject, Nouvelle Flandre, where they're up to a 46%, well, I think it was 47% liberty desire. Now, if it gets above 50%, there is a possibility they could declare war against me. That would mean, of course, that they'd end up not only going up against myself, but they'd also be going up against our um, uh, French Canada uh, uh, sort of nation as well. So I, don't, I really don't want to feed them any more land. Now, one thing that I did look at before is if we actually went ahead and reduced the tariff, uh, and it says here, spend 100 administrative power to decrease the tariffs by 5% and this will decrease their liberty desire by 0%. That's a tooltip error because if you actually look here it says that the tar our tariffs which are currently 30%, I know it says 36 but that's because we get an extra 20% from viceroys. So the current tariff rate is 30%. So that gives them an extra 30% liberty desire. If we actually sp uh, decrease the tariff it will... Um, decrease the tariffs by 5% and it decreases their liberty desire by 5%, which is what I thought it should have done. And I know it definitely works because I just tested it. I loaded up the save, I tried it, it worked, and then I reloaded the save, put it back where, where it was. So at the moment, their liberty desire is going down slightly. We are trying to build relations with them. So at the moment, I don't feel the need to spend any admin power to decrease their liberty desire. And of course, we don't want to lower the tariffs either, but I will keep an eye on them. And if it looks like they may become a problem later, we'll deal with it. Of course, what I don't want to end up doing is having to move an army over here to deal with them and then getting attacked by the coalition because I've got everybody over on this side of the ocean. So what's happening now? We have a request for military access from Galra. That is fine. That's going to be unlawful territory from Bohemia. You can go and do one. Now, obviously, I don't want to end up with too much of a problem from the Coalition, but I may end up at some point having to go and be a little bit more aggressive towards the HRE. I would like to take some of Holland, or, well, all of Holland if I can, really. Uh, we've gained a colonial war, hardly surprising. Yeah, I would like to go and gain something against, um, uh, grab some of Holland, mainly because they do have important centres of trade here, so that could be very, very useful. And of course, we do want to dig a little bit more into England and probably try and take some more away from Austria if we can. What is the coalition looking like currently? Doesn't seem too bad. What have we got going up here? Reformed zealots. Won some little skirmishes against the natives. Of course, we, we could start um, pushing against Castile a little bit. That wouldn't be too much of a bad idea. What about our um, relations with Navarra? Could we bring them in at this point? We need 120, 190 opinion, obviously. Let's go ahead and um, improve the relations. We only need another plus four. Although I do believe that we are currently... Yeah, we're a negative diplomatic reputation, so we re really won't be able to do that. Uh, Milan's plotting against us. Oh, no, cancel right to military access. Right, rivals. The only rivals we have currently are Castile and England. We could pick Portugal, but I don't see a lot of point. I mean, I could go ahead and just declare a war against Castile. Uh, what about over here? Could I be t potentially declare a war against some of these little nations in an effort to try and gain some of this? Uh, is this colonial Mexico? I can never remember. Where's my colonial region map? This is, oh no, Colonial Louisiana. Colonial Mexico is this one on this side, which we are just starting to colonize. But if I do want to gain any of Colonial Mexico, I am going to have to start taking uh, some of these out. And I don't really have an awful lot of units here. Um, in terms of military power, I could get another four units over here. So it's probably not a bad idea. Some of these are definitely... Um, finished areas so let's go and grab ourselves um three more infantry and we'll grab a cavalry as well and then hopefully we can just go and uh, take some of these provinces if we're if we're really lucky i mean it's quite possible nouveau flander will get involved but we'll see what goes on with that so we shall carry on and uh, definitely want to take more of England. That was the main reason for grabbing Kent. And also, we are allied with Ulster and Munster. So, we'll be able to land troops here. Should be able to take over um, Ireland quite easily. 
And then we're going to work our way into uh, Great Britain. Uh, Wallace has now been called. That's fantastic for us. That means that we now um, have zero overextension, which is going to be really good. We've still got this potential rebel uprising here. In fact, it's about to pop in 0 0.4 years uh, in Nice and Wallace. Um, Wallace... Why do you have so much unrest? Mainly nationalism and unlawful territory. Um, nice is going to be the same kind of thing. Why can't we send a missionary there? We don't have a free missionary. Uh, but we have got troops standing on top of Nice, so Nice should be fine. So should Wallace, actually. If rebels pop on either of those, uh, we should be able to deal with them. We will need to get this connected up at some point as well. We'll probably have to try and take uh, Voldestat to connect all of those up. Which will be nice because it will sort of split uh, Milan in half if we can do that. I'm guessing we have a truce against them. Uh, let's recall that diplomat. Truces. Yeah, we do have a truce with Milan until um, September 1635. So there's a couple of years left on that. How are things going with Navarra? We're definitely... Um, above the point where we should be able to annex them, but I think it's just going to be because of our... Annexation will cost a total of 27 diplomatic power. That's not a lot. Uh, we probably won't make an awful lot of progress with them because of our diplomatic relations or diplomatic reputation. Um, but we'll, ha we'll have a look and, um, and see what happens. It might make some progress. Uh, lost an overseas CB, that is fine. Don't mind too much about that. How are things going on with the Commonwealth? What are you involved in these days? Have you got any, any little wars going on? You've got a lot of truces with people. You've been in a lot of wars. You're, um, oh, there we go. Those rebels have popped up. We'll deal with those in a second. Um, so you have rivaled the Timurids, the Golden Horde, and Russia. That makes a lot of sense. Who are you allied with? Denmark, not a problem for me. Wallachia... Not a problem for me. You're allied with me. You're allied with Brandenburg. You're allied with Munster. The fact that we're all allied with Brandenburg, that could be very, very useful if we want to um, chomp into the HRE a little, bit, a little bit more. There we go. These are these nationalists that have popped up. They're just going to get completely and utterly wrecked because they started with uh, reduced morale because we were already there. So, obviously, we did take some losses to manpower. But we managed to uh, to defeat them. And uh, that goes away. Now there's a little bit of provincial unrest in Barra, which they're not going to pop for 38.4 years. And again, that's mainly zealots, so we should be all right with that. Good positive stability. How are we doing in terms of our tech? Haven't looked at that for a little while. We're quite close to getting ourselves another admin tech, though we are ahead of time. We're quite close to getting ourselves another military tech, although we are ahead of time. In fact, we could go ahead and grab that military tech now. Now, what about our ideas? The only idea that we have is a Diplo idea. So what I might want to do is be able to unlock some more idea groups. Don't know what I'd go for. I'm, I might even go into offensive ideas so we can actually be a little bit more um, aggressive attacking into the HRE. It would give us better leaders, it would reduce our recruitment time, um, it would make us a, a lot stronger, give us better siege, better land force limit modifiers, better discipline, better recovery speed. It's a really, really nice group. We could go for things like trade, give us a lot more global trade power, give us more merchants, more trade range, more trade efficiency. Um, both of those are probably on the cards. I don't know if I want to grab any of these. Humanist ideas can be very, very good. Religious unity reduces national unrest, reduces nationalism, accepted culture. Yeah, we might have to go humanist ideas. But I think I think before the end of the game, I'd like to grab humanist, I'd like to grab offensive, and then possibly trade. I'm not too sure which way we're going to go with that yet. Well, we don't have any military idea groups we can spend our military points on, and... We're not going to get another idea group until admin level 22. So we might as well just go ahead and spend that on our military. We're only um, we're only one year ahead of time anyway. And that will let us have upgraded cavalry. So that's definitely worth doing. And then next time we get upgraded, um, upgraded artillery as well. So let's go ahead and upgrade our, uh, upgrade our infantry. 
So everyone will just take a momentary morale drop while that happens, but we'll, we'll, we'll be much stronger. Um, so we now have, um, what are we? 19 versus 18 versus 18. Yeah, so we, we're, we are ahead of the curve. Only slightly, uh, but we are ahead of the curve. And uh, new tech, of course, we can also go and get our admin tech. And again, we might as well do that because we don't have anything else we could spend it on. Uh, it does put us... Um, uh, in front quite a bit. It gives us some extra production efficiency. Will help with the gold. We do have a loan to pay off. There it is actually. It's just popped up. Let's repay that. Should be the last and only loan we had. Uh, lose 10 army tradition. Well that sucks just to get a random thing there. Why don't I have a mission? I haven't done missions for ages. Um, that's obviously because I haven't looked at one. What was this mission? Have a religious unity of at least 100%. Yeah, that's not looking likely to happen anytime soon. Um, yeah, because we'll never grab some of these. I'm going to go ahead and abandon that mission just so we can start getting some better ones. We might actually get some that allow us to increase our tradition again, which would be quite nice. So we're just saving up on our powers now. Our power projection isn't uh, entirely great. Leaders. How many leaders do we have? One of one. That is fine. So do I want to go ahead maybe and start a war over here? Are we making any progress on Navarra? No, we're not. So let's go ahead and bring you back. Um, do I want to try and um, fight any of these guys here? Let's move all of you into there. Why don't we have a... Um, not too sure why our colonist wasn't there. So let's move all of you guys in. Colony has become self-sustaining, which is that one. So let us go ahead and keep... Well, it's, it's Colonial Canada that I want to try and make bigger. Um, that was certainly not the right button to press. I don't know what I just hit there. What was that? Economical map mode. I wanted this one. So if we keep going along the top, this is all going to be Canada. So we'll keep making Colonial Canada bigger. So let's go ahead and we'll move you into here. And we will send our colonist. Now let's go back down here. Right, you should have a colonist on the way. It does give us a spare... Oh no, we don't have a spare colonist now. We've just used him up there. So everyone's fine. This place will be a colony soon enough. Uh, you're going to group together. You don't have a leader yet. Now then, if I wanted to, for example, go and grab, I guess what I could do, and what I probably should do, is I'm going to grab another leader. I can't do it yet because I don't have enough military power. Um, but when I can, I'll grab a conquistador who can stay over here for the time being. Let's go ahead and do that now. We'll grab a conquistador. Now, oh, he's a bit crap. He'll do, though. Um, the reason that I've done that is so I can do a little bit more exploring. I'm actually going to assign a control group to this unit. I keep forgetting that you can do this, but you can um, control and hit a number key and then just press the number key to automatically go to the unit. And I always forget you, you can do that on most um, RTS games, but I always forget that you can do it in EU4. I really should remember that. So what I want to try and do, like I said, is take some of this extra land and just make um, Colonial Louisiana into a separate sort of uh, colonial region so I don't have to micromanage it, really. And we've been able to uncover that. So what we could do is we could go ahead and send our um, colonist over here. Let's go and look through these places here. And it's worth having a look which one of these that we can actually um, attack. Our truce with Tuscany has ended. Because we might be able to um, pick some of these guys off if they don't have a lot of units around. Uh, lost the CB against Castile. So what can we get here? We can lose 25 prestige and 225 ducats. But we can gain 5 army tradition and 5 navy tradition. Or we can lose the same amount of money and gain 20 admin power. Uh, I'd sooner have the tradition, to be honest. Because it's a lot harder to get tradition than it is to get um, power points. So there we go. We're just going to use this guy to do a little bit of exploring while we're here. And then we'll have a look and see who we can pick on. We'll just have a little bit of a war. There we go. Let's go into there. Another colony has become self-sustaining, which is going to have been this one. Now, we can't do this yet because... Oh, no, that is a full province, so we could go ahead and... Um, grab that. Maybe it's a little bit dangerous at the moment. So I think I'm going to um, bring this guy through into this province. And we'll grab this one here. 
So he's just going to go into explore it. That'll be fine. Anytime you like. Right, you've arrived safely. So you can go in there. You can move there and then back into this piece of ground here. And then... Oh, actually, no, we won't be able to do that anyway because it's not coastal. Ah, forgot about that. So we can't, um, can't colonise that even if we want to. So maybe we do have to go and do that. Okay, if that's the, uh, if that's the case, you can move back there. We'll be fine. Good on all legitimacy. Prestige is dropping quite a bit as well. Provincial unrest not bothered about. Lost some units yet. We know about that. You finally arrived. That is good. Um, just... Um, this actually has become French, uh, French Louisiana now. We do have five provinces there. So we actually have had enough here to make this into a uh, colonial nation. That's good. Now we can actually start doing a little bit of... Um, Aggressive expansion against these guys. And they've got rebels and stuff as well, which isn't going to help them. So let's have a look. If we wanted to go to war with uh, Wichita, for example, um, we do have a CB. Now, um, they would bring in the Creek. Now, where are the Creek? Your Chickasaw, you are Caddo. Not sure where the Creek are. Are you up here? No, no, no. I don't even know where the creek are. Could be miles away. Either way. Wow, that's Norway. Norway have land here. Okay, fine. Um, I'm not too bothered about these guys. I don't think they're going to be much of a problem. So what I am going to do is uh, let's go ahead and declare a war. Obviously, we don't need any of our allies in here. And you guys are going to go straight in here. That should be an easy uh, easy crush. He's not even attempting to move. Truce with Austria has ended. So this is where we are going to be sending our next colonists. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll try and grab this province if we can. Now we can get another mission. So accumulate money. 2,000 ducats would give us 10 prestige. We could improve our relations with Ottawa for 3 prestige. Not bothered about that. We could conquer Liege for 10 prestige and 15 admin power. They're not particularly useful missions, are they? Let's go ahead and accum accumulate money. It'll be fairly easy to do, and it'll mean that we can get a um, get another mission after that. Ah, there's the creek. Where did you guys come from? Are you these little blue areas here? Yes, you are. Well, you're, you're going to get ruffle stomped by uh, Nouvelle Flandre, so that's not a problem. Um, speaking of which, how are you guys doing? Yeah, their Liberty Desire is now down to 37%, so it is dropping. So that is very, very good. So don't have to worry about those guys, I don't think. They're just going to go... They're sieging the creek stuff out now. That's brilliant. And it looks like they're going to come over here and help. So that is all going quite well. So we do need to keep our eye out for things over here. Obviously, there's a lot of people moving through our territory, but it's mainly people. I think Austria is at war with Castile. Uh, they are indeed. So they're the attacker against Castile in the British West Indian reconquest of St. Martin. So somewhere the British West Indies are trying to reconquer somewhere, and that's ended up bringing Castile into a war for which Austria is sending a lot of units through. I don't mind if Austria wants to go and weaken Castile a bit because I was planning on um, attacking Castile myself at some point. Although I really don't want Austria or somebody taking land like this. They probably won't because it's a little bit too far from Austria for them to uh, care about. Royal marriage offer from Brandenburg. Didn't realise we hadn't got one actually. Um, let's have a look at our relations. Uh, Munster, we've got a royal marriage and they're a vassal. Tyrone, royal marriage and vassal. Commonwealth, Royal Marriage and Alliance, Corsica, Royal Marriage and Vassal, Brandenburg, Royal Marriage, Alliance and Trade Power, the Hess, Vassal, Navarra, Vassal and Portugal Alliance. Things with Portugal aren't going too well, are they? We should maybe suck up to Portugal uh, a little bit more and um, also Brandenburg. So let's go ahead and do that. So Portugal, um, we don't have a Royal Marriage with you, do we? Let's... We, we can't get one either. Okay, let's go ahead and um, improve relations with you. And let's go ahead and do the same with uh, Brandenburg. I know that doesn't give us a free diplomat, but that's not too much of a problem. 
Uh, gained a diplomatic insult CB against Holland. That's almost tempting to do. Because we could potentially go and crush Holland. Oh, Holland seems to have gained some more land. Interesting. Do seem to be expanding a little bit. Uh, which ones have the important center of trade? That one, Antwerp. And if we could get, gain Antwerp, that would be really, really nice. Uh, and then Holland itself, which is the capital. So we won't be able to take that. But if we could gain Antwerp, that would be really nice. That would give us quite a bit of um, power. Um, if we were to declare war, it's not going to let me see them now because I don't have a free diplomat to send, which is always a problem. So we'll have a look at that next time, as soon as we've got a free diplomat. But that is probably a good place to end the episode. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4. And I'll see you on the next video. So until then, goodbye for now.